you check it. Is that him? I'm assuming that's him. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. The dog. Shit. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and if yeah, so Frank doesn't see me, then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. But is this a bird? Another bird! What is oh, going on yawn, here? Buddy, huh? That was a big yawn. I heard that. Whoop, whoop. Is this another police? What the hell yes. What are you looking for? Damn, there has to be food for you somewhere. I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. Ew, you're searching that? Really? Okay, I think we have to talk to Frank. Let's talk to Mr. McReady over here. Is that his name? Yes, it is. McReady. Dad. Ooh. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as I, as am I. I have no doubt seeing you at a Blackwell was the best thing. Sending you to Blackwell is the best thing you have ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home to relax, maybe go to a high school around here. The door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind year. I'm not ready to come back yet. Talk later, Max X. Oh, Maxoxo. That's cute. Okay. Hey, Mr. McGrady, how you doing? Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Can you predict the future too? Climate change. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? I'm a fisherman, no scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. I what do you mean, mean, worse? If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay... Sorry, I'm just too salty to talk about it. <laughs> See you around, me. kid. I understand. Wait, we can go back? You know what, why not? Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. Fish. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. There none? <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not sh you. I Salmon, you. trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. That's oh no good. Bueno. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. I get you. I get you. Hey girl, she means business. I guess it's time to talk to... What's his face, Frank? I'm a little nervous about that. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. It must be Joyce's oh, day off. But I need to get those keys from Frank. Uh, okay. It's officially sold out. But I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for him though. Freaking nerds. You're going to Stop being a butt, Warren. Okay. Is that Nathan? Wait, there's some guy outside. We'll talk to him after we leave. <laughs> I don't want to talk to him yet. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Okay, that guy we can't talk to. Is guy or girl? That guy. Is that the drunk guy again? Anything new in here? Case should have jumped. Who wrote that? Who wrote that? I will fight. I'm not even kidding. That makes me so mad. The seventh sign of the sea and the sky. That made me so mad. The sea and sky will turn black and living things die because of it. That's true. Who's in here? Knock, knock. Who did that? Okay, there's nothing in here. Let's go talk to Fred. Let's talk to Nathan first. I cannot stand him.
Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. Can I not speak to him? I guess we just look at him then. Hey, Frank, it is. Good morning. That doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know yet. Dr. Hedora, will your team know more after their latest tests? I hope we see more patterns, which gives us an atmospheric template. Many local residents of Arcadia Bay have been questioning what has been going on with this crazy weather. Yeah. I could chug this beer or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna spill Frank it. Bauer stars in a face full of beans. I'm trying to be nice. Turn here. up the brain to eleven, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? Where are they? Let's talk to him first. Hi, Brownie. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or Calm tough. Down, buddy. What the f do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your f camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like a <laughs> You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab wow. your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You f creep me out. <coughs> in other I words, Max. No keys. So maybe we have I to... could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Should I go back with him then? It doesn't give me the option, so I guess let's go. <clears throat> Speak. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. She deserves it. Thanks, Officer it. Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. Seriously. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Kate, my... Whoa. Next. There's so much! Kate Marsh. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Black Will for a while. Ronnie, I love and you, you for helping her. Go That's right the kind of school spirit we I need more of. Right now. I feel David like Madsen. David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. Uh, I did not. He's mean to eager say to that. be a dick to me and Chloe. That's oh. true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. <laughs> Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody up. else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Okay. So what? What? I want to know about what's his. Face? There she is. Skip. Thanks. Skip. I'm glad. You Skip. I'm gonna say weird town. Maybe that's what he's in. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Yeah. Nathan Prescott then. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. <laughs> Taking over Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. Don't You're make not me far wrong, Max. Bacon. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land I deals. saw that. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal oh. with him that I can't seem to get out of. I'm sorry. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I understand that. I better finish my breakfast first. So do I talk? Oh no, I go back and I ask him about... I'm confused. There's so many people to talk to. She skip, skip, skip. I'm Man, I pushed that so many times. Uh, next, Prescott deal. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you, you for okay. getting extra work. Yeah. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Uh, I can't Nathan remember. included. Keep this quiet, Max. I can't promise that. 
So does that mean we could talk to D Nathan now? We can. Rachel! Uh, whatever the f Uh. Oh, look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? Why does everyone think that of Rachel? That was classic. That's Watching how you know you she put up. Everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, yep. you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. You calm yourself. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. I I'm bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. That's how you too. know I got it right. Push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Calm down. Right. Calm Plus, down. You're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now, f off, d He did not just say the, what that word. He did not. He did not. Nathan, I'm trying to understand your situation, but when you talk like that... Go back. Go back. Speak. Skip. Next. I need to know I bet thing. Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumb ass. So we can ask the cop about that. Okay. You're pretty stupid, Nathan. Why y'all Why y'all tell everybody everything? Rachel. Skip. Uh, 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 your father. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. <sighs> and threaten me. <laughs> you don't know <laughs> about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? I do care. Spoiler maybe. alert, he's an asshole. I'm sorry. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my business, understand? Now get out of my face. This is gonna take forever, guys. Forever, forever, forever. Right. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think Dang. I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your up. Okay. There was still more to speak on him with. Rachel! I'm so glad it skipped that far. Okay, so we did all that. Um... Last thing is I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. Ooh, I don't like that. These pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told Excuse me, me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Excuse me? Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Okay. I will. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. So we can go back and ask him about that. Forever. What is that from? Rachel. Uh, what? Next. Blood oath. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the f I never told anybody about that freaky sh Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So, Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, oh. and he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Duh. 
Do we keep him knowing that? Can we go back to the cop? What can I do for you, Max? Rachel and Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. Dang. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. I got a, I got a bodyguard. I wouldn't bet. <laughs> Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs. Okay, what a he good guy. Himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? We will. Hey, Frank, I got some tea on you. <laughs> Uh, I will respect him and the fact that he did, uh, whatchamacallit, speak. What the f now? Ooh, what's next? Oh, can we ask all this? Uh, I'm gonna say David's after David the gun. Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Drunk? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <sighs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with you, too much time on your you hands. You literally sell Nathan but, stuff. But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. Okay, we're gonna have to Back rewind. Off. We're gonna have to rewind. And then we're gonna have to speak to him again. Hey, Frank, what talk the to me. Now? Um, save dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could yep. I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog. Why does he hate us so much? Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. We don't want to take it. What if we spilled the... Let's look first. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. It's about to happen. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the keys and rewind. I don't want him to not like us. So not the beans, maybe the drink. Uh, spill the drink then. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. How do we get it? No, seriously, how do we? The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. I'm afraid I'll have to take the keys now, asshole. You and did not just do that. Give me back my keys, Give me my keys now. Yeah, I'm rewinding. No, tell me I don't have to I have everything. It's 
keep that. Oh my god, how do you stop it? I don't know what happened. Listen, when I went through David's Guys. laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more Can you than believe friends. this? <laughs> right. Be a trucker for a while. Hey, how's it going? Peachy, interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money with a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Old town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now, even that shifty Rachel What's Her Face asked me once if I drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, can't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you, Blackwell Turd, try to drive my 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Hey. Peachy. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Thank you. Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses? No dying animals? Holy sh! Oh god, that is so embarrassing. I'm gonna get trolled hard. So ominous. I hate seeing old women on the street like that. <sighs> nice world. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm homeless. Otherwise, yeah, fantastic. Who are you? Max, can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? If I had a bottle? Cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, so I see everybody and everything. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled It just has a bad aura, as we used to say. He also drugs the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And, uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything.
Okay, let's try this again. First off, I would like to say, uh, when I was rewinding back and back and back all that time, I noticed that Nathan looked really happy when he thought it was Rachel, which I'll talk about that more in there. Second, dude's booty crack is out. <laughs> let's try this again. <clears throat> what the f now? Uh, save dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix I'm for gonna you. try to take the keys and... I think the game crashed on me, but we'll find out. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, hole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Ooh, okay, okay, we got this, guys. We got this. Uh, did you see all that stuff we said when I talked outside? Uh, when we talked to those people on the other side? We got a homeless person on our side. I wish you learned your name instead of calling a homeless person. <gasps> it's Alyssa! Me? Always. Alyssa, watch out! This girl always has. What? She was thinking that. She has such bad luck. Can I talk to her? Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. You know, I'm just trying to Don't protect you. Me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. I'm Kate's friend. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's f up. But you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. As you should. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital. I agree. And allow visitors. I want to see Kate. Well, let's hang later and talk some more. Okay, I agree. Do we ever get to see Kate? Because, um. It would suck if we didn't. Okay. Okay, Chloe. Ooh, he's bad. I should have known. The amazing Spider Man. Hey, Spider Man's a bad. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Why do I gotta do it? This is. Well, this was my idea. On your mark, get set. Throw! Not the roads in the parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bit. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. Okay, let's. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Well, we're doing this quick. Find what we need to find and get out. Damn, what are you doing? I thought my room was a shithole. <sighs> You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. He's a little creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. My fingers are <laughs> hurting from playing for so long. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues She about just Rachel. mentioned that so casually. I know. Just daydreaming. Okay. Dog food, everything. Okay, got you. Can't you quite the area picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer right and now. hanging out. Sorry, Chloe. I literally interrupted that you. That would be so... Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. A police scanner? 
Frank must have a reason to keep a police it's radar on your radar, body. I, guess. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Man, he didn't even eat. Look at that. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Maybe he didn't name him, you know? Chloe always goes to the thing first. What if I want to go on the computer first? I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Not filthy guy, it's just him. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. He has one of your Chloe's guns. Don't be surprised. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. Recycle, dude. Can't believe really a cycle if everyone has the baggies. Of course, Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. It's a lot of money. He needs to do it with something. How can somebody live like this? He it probably moved while he probably puts it in there while he's driving so that they don't fall. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download the porn. Yuck. Yeah, we don't need to know that. Okay, what's in here? Holy moly. What is this? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Kate? My Katie Bruce Johnny Tom. What does that mean? Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? There's the gun. That's a oh, pretty extreme light. That's a blowtorch. <laughs> I read that wrong. Oopsies. Okay, so this is. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. He's not. I doubt is it. Is Frank going to deal online now? Gotta get his money somewhere, you know? Bent. No. I choose. could pry this vent open with the right tool. Okay, photo. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his he dog. He likes his dog. I doubt- I, I think he's a good guy if, you know, but I think he's a little iffy when it comes to people. Okay, the knife. this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Get that knife! Take that. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Uh, I guess. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. Why do I feel like he didn't do that? <laughs> I broke it! Curses. Nothing here. Go back. Okay, now let's go to this one then. My blade will open any portal. Booyah. Take that. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. Okay, Rachel and Frey. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bee and took it out on you. And poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird going on in my life. And sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank, good, thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here. And I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always, Rachel. Oh. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. Oh, I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drunks. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never, dr never drill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. <laughs> I should not. I care about you, so I care about you us so maybe we need to break our routine rachel dang so they were together chloe needs to see this she keeps doubting it but she's gonna learn what's in that Ooh, frank stash put yeah put that on we don't need that we came here for evidence and that is it max you didn't tell me you Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. Here's the account book. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you exactly. Reacted. She wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who should be a lover. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step 
Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Yeah. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit. Who hasn't? Everybody. Chloe, if you're going to be Chloe. this emotional during an investigation, I don't need you here. I could do this on my own. Excuse me! I didn't get to look... Look... I didn't get to look at the computer. How come she got to? Does he not hear his dog outside? He's not concerned? I don't know, like, oh, putting two and two together. She needs to calm herself. She almost got us killed. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong. Seriously. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. I feel like this is your fault. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. God, you're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsh almost... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? Really? That doesn't make me feel any better about my f***ed up life. Get it? So who Chloe. do you most want to blame? My f dad, of course. It's Hello? like you just fall. Someone... Your dad did not. You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me. He had to go get groceries Chloe, or something. Your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. See, how to get groceries or something. Sometimes even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. It was. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in sh**. I can tell. You're still here, though. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Excuse me, she needs to stop acting like this. I get people have their own issues and she's going through a lot, but she doesn't need to be. It's not her dad's fault. Her dad literally got in an accident. He couldn't control that. I'm out, Chloe. You make me mad. We were doing so good. All right, I will talk to you. Adios. Bye. Oh what the God. heck? What is happening now? Girl, are you hallucinating? Does she take some of those drugs that I don't know about? Wait a sec. Use AD keys and left mouse button. And left mouse button. Right mouse button until you find the sweet spot. What is this? I thought we were done here. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. How? Not until I see it first. You know the rules, dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... Wait, so Max is back here as her younger self. What 
is this? But not the cook. William is here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in friends. time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crimes. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13 year old self. What are her powers? This How? makes no sense whatsoever. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember? Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. That's true. And this is the last time, unless I change it. Well, something's not right. If you say it, what happened? William, like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. Okay, but if he I won't. just sounds bad, if he doesn't die, what happens? I know I've seen those pictures before. Okay. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. Okay. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and- Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. I said it looks like Chloe. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you. Groceries! Now I'll have an excuse to get a mug. I knew it! Be there shortly. Huh? Love you. Oh, yeah, I miss my... I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for oh, us to feast on. ridiculous. <laughs> He'll be grateful for that someday. Sh where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Uh-uh, I'll find them first. Ah! Ah! What? You can't hide from me forever. Now let me know where they are. Now lock up after I leave. Play not. We want to do it as late as possible. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's Score! Your... So, how many eggs? Don't you dare. I don't want him to fight him at all. all right. No. The real Can we go back outside? Throw keys outside. Right. When your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Will that work? Will he see that? Like right there? What is that? I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Is it like a, a finder? What about you, little buddy? Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. What? This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Dang, I didn't know I picked the right option right off the bat. What the heck? Max, you are being so f***ing strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. What did that change, though? Okay, so his funeral, I think. Yeah, his funeral. Oh, now it became them happy together. Chloe being sad. Now she's still happy. Okay, they're... So they're celebrating something. He's still with her. <laughs> Instead of David and Chloe fighting, it's... She got a new car! Something, something's gonna happen. I don't trust this. I don't trust this. It's too good to be true. Wait, what the what the heck? Ew! Why are we next to Nathan and them? Hello? Ew. Are you even listening, Maxie? No, Ratchet, you, what the you know, heck? Told me that was Max. Every day? But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so much. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? No, Do you want to go hit the girl's potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. 
She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever. We're friends with this group now? Uh-uh. Lauren, he hooked up with Stella? Stella? Really? Not Brooke? He didn't even acknowledge us. Oh, no. Th this is totally up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Warren's not even our friend anymore? I don't like this. We're friends with the wrong group of people. <laughs> David's the bush driver now? That is so sad. Can I skip this? No, it just pauses it. Okay. I cannot believe. Victoria almost seemed like she cared about our opinion. That's surprising. Oh my gosh. Anything else look different? I can't tell. The whales are dead. I I'm probably gonna start adding music to these scenes because they're kind of a little too long. Okay, this is Chloe's house, it's still blue. So they tried to repaint it a different color other than blue. Okay. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Oh, excuse me, who is this man? We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. Uh, uh, I'd me? never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Why is this so suspenseful? Why are they hyping this up so much? What do you see? What? Excuse me? Wait a second, this is some karma right here. She wanted to steal from the handicap fund. And now she... What's this preview gonna be? Sorry guys, I had to skip this. Okay, so 48% stole the money? At least 52% kept it. What the heck is wrong with you guys? 78% kiss Chloe. 78% you sided with Chloe. I wonder what would happen if you sided with David. 95% you kept Frank's dog from harm. That's why you don't put him in the road. Who puts, who puts him in the road? That makes no sense. Under oncoming traffic? 34% Frank has David's gun. Oh, we could have... I didn't even notice that. 50% Lisa is dead. Excuse me? How? How is she dead? I tried so hard to keep that thing alive. 72% you did help Ward with his, ex his exam. 
What do you mean? I'm not gonna about to, I could have, I didn't know there was an option. 59% you are on the Vortex Club party list. I better be, I uh, tried for that. Um, 79% you didn't change the Vortex party list. Because I didn't need to, I didn't even know there was a list. 38% you erased the cop's answer phone. Uh, she didn't need to be in more trouble, let's be real. 63% you helped Allison. 34% you warned the homeless lady. I don't think people realize they could go over there. I think that's why it's so low. Because most of the time when you wander off to a certain point, it tells you, she goes, I don't want to go this way. 48% you didn't take a photo in the past. I didn't know I could do that. 64% you didn't leave a mark on the fireplace. What? Okay. So all the parties happening. So there's the ocean area, Max on a computer and a gun. There's so much going on with this game. First, I will admit, see, this is what I said when I said, don't hate me when I say, I don't like Chloe because Chloe's a lot. She does a lot of stuff that makes me angry. She blames everything for everything that goes on besides herself. She wanted to steal from a handicap, but now look where she's at. Now look where she's at. This is why you don't do stuff like that. There was no point for her to want that money. I get she has a debt, but there could have been other ways you could have gotten around to doing it. Good job, maybe. I don't know. Something something about her. Not only that, she pushed it. She pushed, not lately. Actually, she still does. She pushes Max to use her power when she doesn't need to use her power. For what? You know it harms her. And you know she doesn't know when exactly, how long it's going to last, when it can and cannot work. Because she said uh, when I was helping Kate down, it didn't, it didn't work. Like everything else. But she still wanted to, you know, break into the school hoping it would work. What if it didn't work? We'd be stuck. And then, another thing that made me mad was... One, she had the nerve when we said Kate, you know, almost, you know, she was like, Oh, so it's such sad. That is sad. That girl's going through a lot and you have the nerve. I know you're going through a lot, but why? Why? You said Kate's just a nice girl, but you back talk her all the time just because I'm friends with her. And then Max said, oh, I, you know, the rewind power don't work. You know, I had to help her down herself. I do have to say that I think that's a good thing because I think the rewind power wouldn't have been so great. I think actually talking to her yourself shows her that you're actually your friend. That's what she needed at that moment was a friend, not your rewind power. So I'm glad that actually happened. Next thing, David's on a, a, a more of a suspicious side. A lot of things point to him and Nathan, but I don't think, Nathan I think is a part of something, something out there. David, I don't think is part of it. I think he was helping and he talks to Nathan because Nathan knows some things and he's slowly getting things out of him, but not all of it. And that he wants to figure out what all the issue is. Uh, Mr. Jefferson, we're, we're not gonna forget about him. He literally said, Because of Max, I'm not in the everyday hero contest anymore. How old are you? It was not because of me. You let her walk and cry. You could at least been like, Kate, I'm sorry, we'll talk about this another time. I have a class right now. Don't worry. We'll talk after class or something. Something. What did he say to her? I want. To, I still want to know what he said to her. So he backed up to me behind my back to Victoria of all people. Victoria. And then Victoria tried to seduce Mr. Jefferson. She was like, I can go with you. We can do this and this and this. Uh, Victoria has her own issues too. I could tell. Nathan has really, really deep mental issues that he needs to get help from but I think something traumatized him because I think he has something to do with Rachel missing somehow I'm not saying he did it anything to make her go missing but I feel like he might have helped someone else do it because he oh when we were just as Rachel and he thought we were Rachel for a second he was happy for that split second he was happy and then he realized oh it's, it's just Max you know so I'm wondering if he feels guilty about that and he did say she's in the dark room and the dark room right here, if we look um, here, it says the dark room. So he's obviously talking about an actual room that's something. Or maybe that's just something he clarifies on more. I'm a little confused when it comes to it. Um, 
he's going through a lot and i feel like he does drugs or does bad things because he wants to forget about what has happened before or what he has helped do um his family i don't like his family his family of course has money they pay for everything they pay to have his record clean they pay to they pay police officers to make sure his record's clean all this kind of stuff is crazy frank mm, i don't mind frank i don't think frank's a bad guy he helped dogs i think of course we just realized that frank and rachel actually had a real life relationship together and i think chloe was really upset about that of course and she didn't tell her because she would have acted like that um but now we know frank and rachel actually had a real life relationship and it makes me wonder um why frank frank acts this way is it because he, he probably had a lot of people betray him and stuff like that because he does sell drugs to teenagers um but i don't think he's a bad guy um i don't think he had anything to do with rachel missing though i think that was i think it's kind of like them being like he seems weird maybe it's him i don't think it's him so people almost get out chloe i'm kind of getting used to more and more i think this episode i liked her a lot more she was funny she was nicer they had a good time you know she actually talked some actual sense sometimes but in the beginning she kind of made me mad with the trying to steal money from the you know um what was it called the the fun the fun and then she, now she look where she's at karma i guess so i don't, can't be too mad about that she got karma but then there's the fact of um later on she just got mad again like she needs to go see a therapist what she needs she needs to find a therapist you know figure her situation out actually express her feelings have someone talk to and stuff like that I, that's what i think i think she's a genuine good person if she helps herself first before she tries to get mad at everybody else max i like as a character she's just trying to live her life trying to get it through she has a lot on her plate so i think she's always stressed and stuff like that but i don't mind her as a character she's actually a pretty good main character warren i like warren he's cool he helps us no questions asked well sometimes but he just kind of lets it go he wants to go to a movie with us we'll see if we actually go i don't know when we're supposed to go for the movie though so i guess we'll see about that um kate i love kate i hope we get to visit her at the hospital soon because she's got uh Alyssa said we probably will so i'm hoping we can but i'm glad she's okay and i'm glad she feels a little better um i think her not being at school is a big help because now she doesn't have people to bully her at school like in person or anything like that so i hope she's okay kate's another character i like so warren kate um who else do i like oh joyce is really nice i really like joyce she's she's a good mom and she probably is just really stressed right now because she went from having a happy loving family to you know was work they were probably happy for like a month or two and now everything's gone downhill for her um besides that i don't know victoria che victoria chase we know how we feel about her and everything like that principal uh we didn't really see him much we just saw him drunk and that was it that's all we saw from him uh besides that i don't really know i feel like we're gonna learn more i feel like we're slowly digging up things about rachel amber and her her missing report i'm hoping we'll learn more i think we'll learn more with the dark room episode i'm excited I, it's getting deeper and deeper and i can't wait for it although her we white power kind of confuses me sometimes so hopefully i get more in depth with that i get used to that more um but i guess we'll see if we actually do save arcadia bay from everything that's happening and we do figure out the mysteries and what's going on it's such a small town we should probably figure it out we have a lady who i don't know her name she called they call her homeless lady but lady i hope you know we find i'm gonna call her lady her name's lady like lady of the tramp i hope lady tells us more information if we find out more information um but we have some people on our side we kind of got victoria chase's uh, minions kind of liking us kind of so i hope that goes right but this is weird we're in a different timeline chloe is not doing so hot but she seems like she probably is a little nicer uh, we're friends with the vortex club which i don't like because they're kind of rude people the only people i haven't really had issues with with hayden but victoria and nathan i could never i could never maybe they're nicer here i don't know maybe things are a little different here maybe rachel's still alive i don't i don't know there's so much that we don't know about what if chloe doesn't even know rachel because she's where she's at ah oh, there's so many questions not enough answers i don't know i don't know guys but that is it for today um i hope you enjoyed this video and if you didn't let me know why i guess if you did i hope you 
I hope you come back for the next episode. I'm excited and I'm ready to know more what's going on. If you have any theories, if you have any uh, things that I missed, which I know I missed some things because you can tell by the picture things and all that kind of stuff. If I missed anything, let me know down below so we kind of can put this story together as we go. Um, if you have a favorite character, again, let me know down below. Don't hate me, but Chloe's growing on me a little more. I hope as time goes on, I like her more, you know? Um, Max seems to have a crush on Chloe, I think, as we're ending this. I, I just remember. I think Max has a crush on Chloe. I think Chloe probably had a crush on Max back in the day, and probably now Rachel, and slowly is going back to Max. I don't know about that. The little, the, 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 I don't think there's time for your love in this, in this game yet. Um, but yeah, this could be for today. Um, if you have anything you want to say, just comment down below and let me know. And now it's water time. We all know what water time is. If you don't, this is the time where it's basically a daily reminder that you drink some water, get it in your system. It could be Gatorade, Powerade, water. I usually do water because I always forget. Um, you could drink with me now. If you don't want to drink with me now, you can do it later. Just come to this point and play it later. If you don't want to drink with me at all, that is perfectly fine. It is up to you. It is your choice. This is just a daily reminder. Now, let's get this going. Push play whenever you're ready. That felt good. I did that. That felt good. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you, as always, for watching. I hope you have a good day. And I hope you have a good night. Adios. When it's over, I might kiss the sky I'll need your roses, no last goodbye